Hi guys, the aim of this video is to share two pieces of advice. Number one is to dream realistically and number two is to keep your options open. So to explain this properly, I'll be giving you insights and top tips for college applications while narrating how I got a fully funded scholarship as well as a $76,000 scholarship to study in the US. I started my study abroad journey in December 2017. Just like most high school teenagers out there, I wanted to study in America just because it is the most popular study abroad destination. So I started applying to several universities and colleges thinking that I just needed to get an admission offer, you know, apply for visa and go. That was the wrong approach. Instead, what I should have done was take my time to do some research and find schools that I could actually get into. I mean, not all of us have 4.0 GPA and not all of us would get high scores on the SAT, so I actually needed to find schools that matched my profile. But back then, I just kept on applying to several universities in different countries, especially the US and Canada. And thankfully, I got a lot of admission offers, but with little or no scholarship. I mean, $500 scholarship for a $30,000 tuition fee or $1,000 scholarship for $20,000. It was just nothing compared to what I needed to pay. So I realized I needed to start applying to universities with fully funded scholarships. Unfortunately, my transcript and high school results were not enough to get me a fully funded scholarship to study at the universities I was targeting. I'm talking about universities like John Hopkins, Tufts, NYUAD, and some Ivy League schools. So I realized I needed to take the SAT in order to, you know, increase my chances of getting into these universities, and I did that in December 2018. Can you imagine the gap? One year later. This could have been totally avoided if I had made my research in the beginning and designed a plan for my study abroad process. By the end of December, SAT results were out and my result was nothing close to what was needed. I mean, a student like me looking to study in a university like Tufts or NYUAD should have about 1,500 out of 1,600 in order to have a good chance of getting into this university with a fully funded scholarship. But unfortunately, mine wasn't even close enough. So, considering this low score I had in SAT, in addition to what I had learned in the past one year about US universities and financial aid and scholarships, I realized that if I truly wanted a fully funded scholarship, I needed to start looking for opportunities outside the US. As an extension, outside UK and Canada, like, to be honest. <laughs> KAIST for Korea, MEX for Japan, CSC for China, TAFS for Taiwan, Stipendium Hungaricum for Hungary, Turkey Boslari for Turkey, Rakus for Russia, and Brunei Government Scholarships are some of the fully funded scholarships I started working on. It was a tough ride to be honest, but it paid off eventually and you would understand in a bit. Good news came in February 2019 from Florida Southern College. I got an email from them saying that I have been awarded a prestigious scholarship of $76,000 over four years. That was the issue. $76,000 became $19,000 per year. So I still had to pay over $10,000 in order to study at this university. That was a huge amount for me. So I automatically knew I couldn't attend. But still, this was a big feat for me. I mean, I just took the SAT about two months ago and now I am getting a scholarship for $76,000 thanks to the SAT results. So it wasn't that bad after all. <laughs> and it kept me hopeful for the decisions I was expecting next. At this point, NYU AD was my top choice and Colgate and Lafayette were my safety net. And they were all going to announce their results very soon. I got rejected by all of them. I was totally heartbroken. I cried. Like, it meant all my American dreams had been shattered. This was at the end of April when all the results were out. To be honest, deep down, I knew I wouldn't get into NYUAD. Like, I just knew I wasn't a qualified candidate. But, you know, that optimism in me didn't just let me say, no, I, let me just put my effort in some other university. I thought I could be that one student out of tens of thousands of applicants that would be lucky. I don't know where that kind of optimism came from, to be honest. It was like an high school graduate looking to get into an Ivy League with 1.5 GPA out of four. <laughs> In July 2019, at this time all hope was lost, I finally got an email saying I won a fully funded scholarship to study in one of the most prestigious universities in Turkey, Hacettepe University. And thankfully, here I am today. But you know one thing guys, I actually saw this scholarship in 2018 February, in 2018 January, and I even started an application but I didn't submit it. 
why because all i wanted was nothing but us or canada or uk those were my top choices and i was not ready to settle for anything less who knows maybe if i had applied in 2018 i would have gotten in or maybe it was sat i took at the end of 2018 that helped me get in in 2019 i don't know but the point here is that if only i had taken some time to you know learn from professionals or from people who had already trodded this path it would have saved me a lot of times and I wouldn't have had to learn through mistakes and, you know, lose so much time. Anyways, no regrets though, because you see, even though I took the long route by learning through mistakes rather than making research, it actually helped me in a lot of ways. For example, I got to know how to apply to any uni, no matter how tedious the application process was. It got to a point that I hardly got stuck on any application. Like once I started applying, the only thing that would stop me from submitting is if I had to pay. <laughs> <laughs> I learned how to write better essays. When applying to universities outside the US, all I needed to do was copy, edit, and paste, or just write a new one in no time. And this was hugely possible thanks to College Essay Guy. That was my go-to platform for inspiration, examples, courses, webinars, and anything regarding essays for US universities. I made use of almost all of his free stuff, you know, like this or this. Thankfully, there is now the pay what you can policy, so you can still join some of his courses and get your payments worth. Feel free to explore his website for more goodies or sign up for this college essay writing course using the link in the description below. If you use my link to purchase, I get a small commission, so thank you for supporting me. Yeah, as I was saying, part of the benefit was that I got so good at obtaining the necessary info from any website, so I could easily go into a university's website and Within two minutes, I've already gotten what I needed. In fact, I had a formula back then, no scholarship, no application. <laughs> like if the university was now offering any scholarship of some sort, I wasn't going to apply to that university, even if the application was free. And most importantly, I had many options to choose from because I applied to so many different universities and countries. Hence, I'm suggesting that you always keep your options open and dream realistically. Don't make the mistake I made, you know, putting all my heart into NYUAD or make the mistake of just choosing one country that you want to get into. I mean, you can do that if you are totally sure of how to go about it and if you think you have the school or the country that matches your profile. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of this video and the summary so far is to dream realistically and keep your options open. Let me add one more thing to always make good research. To learn more about fully funded scholarships in Turkey, you can watch this video right here. That's it from me guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.